Can somebody please stage an intervention for me? I think I need some serious help. Hello, and welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Jennifer Moore, and this is The Sewing Report. We help you discover your love of sewing. And I just had a cup of coffee, and I had a few extra minutes, so I had the option between doing my hair or filming this video. And obviously, you know which one I chose. I wanted to preface this by explaining that I normally just pick up quilting cotton and apparel fabric. I've been trying to incorporate more apparel fabric since I've been getting more into garment sewing, which is awesome, a little bit challenging, but I'm trying my best. So I picked up these uh, two cotton and steel prints from the Raindrop collection, both beautiful. This one's like sort of like a, kind of like a mint green color and then it's got fish on it. And then I also got, I've been wanting this fabric for a while. It's a dark gray fabric and it's got these like really cool hot pink geometric shapes on it and I've been wanting this so I finally got it. I got these from an Etsy seller and I'll link everything below so that you can see where I picked all this stuff up. And we've also got more cotton and steel. This is from the Notorious collection and it's in the color cloud. It's one of my all-time favorite fabrics. I love Notorious fabric. I have it in quite a few different colors and they have some fun metallics. This one is gray with a uh, silver metallic on it. And I probably have about five yards of this just because I want to have it on hand all the time and because it's so versatile. Next up is actually Cotton and Steel's Christmas line called Garland. This is the first time in my life I've ever bought holiday fabric, but it's a lot more modern and like mid-century than your typical red and green like Santa Claus fabrics. I love it. I bought a fat eighth bundle off of Etsy and I've already cut it up to make a table runner, but I just wanted to show you some of the prints. These are just some two and a half inch squares that I've already cut up. This is the last of the quilting cotton I picked up and it's another all-time favorite and a repeat purchase. It's called Steeping Awakening from a line called Priori Square by Art Gallery Fabrics. The designer's name is Katie Jones. I think she might be from Australia, but it's a cream fabric with gold roses and it's gorgeous. I love the hand of Art Gallery Fabrics and I think this fabric is just so elegant and classy. You can do a lot with it. I actually used it to make a baby quilt for a friend and it just turned out gorgeous. So I'm a big fan of this print. I also placed an order with this company called Pile O Fabric and I've noticed it used to be heavy on the quilting fabric and quilting supplies, but the owner is, seems to recently be moving more into bag making. So I picked up that uh, art gallery fabric print from her and I also got a couple other goodies. I got these wash away stabler sheets. They come in eight and a half inch sheets and I'm trying to get more into paper piecing for quilting. Oops, and I just dropped some stuff, but that's okay. And I, what I like about this is one of the more challenging aspects of paper piecing is that after you put your block together, you have to tear the paper off. With this stuff, you actually just leave it in and it washes away, so you don't have to worry about that step, so it'll save you some time. I think each sheet, each uh, pack was about four or five dollars, and it comes with 25 sheets. I found her prices were very reasonable compared to other sellers, and she seems to be the only one selling the eight and a half by 11 sheets that make it easy for you to throw in the printer and print off your designs. And I also ordered something. I got these in both silver and gold. These are called Chicago screws, and they're mo mainly used in bag making or, you know, for other details. But they're like rivets, you just screw it in instead of using like a rivet setter. So I thought this would be kind of cool to incorporate in some of my bags. Okay, these last two fabrics I'm pretty excited about and they're both from fabric.com. The first is this 100% cotton waffle weave. It's sort of like a toweling fabric. I got three yards of it. I think it was like $7, about $7 a yard. They had bulk pricing. And I'm really looking forward to this. You, you can use it to make like bathrobes or towels or like bibs or birth cloths or, you know, any sort of like household item. So I'm actually gonna pre-wash this and maybe try to make like some dish towels or washcloths or something like that. But I think it'll be cool to work with and the quality seems pretty good. So I'm excited about that. And then lastly, I got this really awesome it's like a mini, it's like kind of mini quilted fabric. It's polyester and spandex, but the cool thing is because it's polyester, it's not gonna shrink. So from what I understand, you don't need to pre-wash it. So again, I'm all about saving time. So I'm pretty excited that I could just cut into this and make something. I'm gonna make a uh, toaster sweater by Sew House 7. 
I made one and I'm actually gonna do a video once I make this one just kind of talking about the pattern what I think of it by the way it's super easy and great for beginners especially if you have a serger but I'm really excited about this fabric I love the color it's sort of like a royal blue or cobalt blue or something but it's really cool looking fabric and the back side is actually like it's not real it's it's a little bit stiff but it's not like super scratchy so you don't really need a lining for it so I'm definitely going to be putting this to good use. And I also wanted to talk about my fabric collection because as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, it's getting really out of hand and I, I was trying to figure out what to do with it. So the other day I was actually found myself Googling like, you know, best charities to donate to, best charities to donate fabric to. And randomly I connected with this woman. She is involved with this organization called Sewing God Seeds. And it's a non, a completely nonprofit organization. In fact, none of the uh, people who do work for it, none of them take a salary. So there's no overhead as far as like, you know, paying at administration people or anything like that. So she actually told me I could donate, I can auction off and uh, donate the proceeds of things I sell. So I might do that in the future because personally, I don't really like selling sewn items. But if I was selling them to donate the proceeds, I would feel more comfortable with that. She also said I could donate fabric to the organization or money. So I'm definitely interested in doing that. I'll link uh, to the organization's website below. But I had a really great uh, conversation with this woman named Trina just about what they do. And the organization really helps women, you know, women in other countries, you know, that don't have a lot of opportunities. It helps teach them how to sew and sell their sewn items so that they can generate an income for themselves. And they also support missionaries, you know, to spread the gospel. So I think that's really awesome. And whether, you know, you're religious or not, you know, maybe not everything they do is up your boat, but, you know, personally, I, I feel comfortable supporting this organization. So I think I'm definitely going to do that. And if you are looking for a way to give back, I would also encourage you to find an organization that fits your values and get involved with them. Because I've been sewing for a few years, but I've really wanted more ways, you know, to try to encourage people to sew and also to give back with my sewing talents. So definitely do that if you haven't already. But let's get to my fab recording because it's getting pretty bad. And I was very excited to find this organization to donate some of my fabric to because I need to unload some of it. Some of the fabrics I bought when I was new to sewing don't really fit my style now or my taste. So it's just sitting there and I didn't know what to do with it. You know, I keep amassing more fabric that I don't need. And I'm really trying to keep that under control because I don't want to be on an episode of Hoarders. And I also don't want to let my fabric collection control my life. So I'm really trying to pare down for 2017 and not buy as many fabrics. And as I've mentioned before too, I have way too many patterns. I'm never gonna be able to use all of these. So I'm really trying not to consume as much and try to make more um, and actually use up what I have. So that's my goal for 2017. Do you have any sewing goals or are you also struggling with controlling all of your sewing supplies and sewing stash because I know I do and I'm sure I'm not alone because I know other people have have talked about it too. So let me know what you think about all this and I will see you next time.